what if we want to put a limit on the health? Say, for example, 100. You don't want your health to go any higher than 100. Your health can increase if your health goes down, but it can't go over 100. So once it hits 100, it's capped at that point. Now, how do we cap it at that point? Well, what we could do is we can add a condition. Now, we can add an if statement. Now, these are very useful because basically what you're doing here is you're saying, if one thing is true, then make this other thing true. And that's very good because that's definitely what you want to happen in games. So what we're going to do here is we're going to write if fair health is greater than 100, then we want to use squiggly brackets. So the ones that are kind of like have a bit sticking out at the edges and stuff. And then we want to put in what is the result? If health is greater than 100, then we want to assign health to be 100. If you collect more health and your health goes over to 105, we want it to be back to 100. So then we'll go fair health equals 100. And that works. So if your health goes over 100, then your health is equal to 100. One thing I do want to mention is that whenever you're declaring a new variable or you're assigning a, a variable, you need to add it to a new line every time. If I ever wanted your health to equal 100 and I want something else to happen as well, I'd have to press enter and write it on a new line. But if you just got like say the one thing here, it is fine, just add it on a new line. If say you wanted to have a list of things, then what you could do is you could just like say enter there, uh, enter da 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 da, enter da 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 da, enter da 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 da, and so on, all within those brackets, of course. Um, and you can also, it's also a common practice if you're doing this to add a tab to the ones inside the if statement, just so that it's nudged to the side, so that you can see that it's not outside of the if statement so that it's very clear to see. But in the meantime, just one line is perfectly fine. So if your health is over 100, then your health is equal to 100. Now, let's say ammunition. So uh, we have a variable called ammo. Now you want the ammo to be limited, but say you didn't want it just to be limited to 30 or 80 or 100 or a specific number, you want it to be limited depending on which weapon you have. Maybe some weapons can hold more ammo, maybe some weapon, maybe you have a sword and that can't hold any. So what we want to do is we want to actually create a new variable. And this variable we will call max ammo. So this is a maximum amount of ammo that you can hold. And we'll have to declare it as a number. Let's start off with 30. So this is like the very... So we need to create an interaction between the ammo and the max ammo to make sure that the ammo doesn't go over the max ammo. So back into step, because this is going to be a ruling constant effect. We'll, inst we'll have if their ammo is greater than their max ammo, then in the squiggly brackets we can have their ammo equals fair max ammo. So there we have a variable interacting with another variable. It's basically saying that if your ammo goes over whatever your current maximum is, then your amount of ammo is going to be equal to whatever the current maximum is. So there's how to do if statements and how to have some sort of interaction between variables.